Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpster Rentals. Today, it's going to be a good day. It is Friday, and I love me some Fridays. As far as today is concerned, uh, well, my driver is on vacation, so he's gone out of town. Uh, he's going to be gone for about 10 days. It's out of town. It's just me, so time to get back in uh, the full-time driver position for the most part i've been kind of playing fill in but now it's kind of uh playing the whole i got lots of dumpsters to do so and actually what's kind of funny is it's getting cold around here it's slowed down a little bit so like i've talked about other times it's just the ebbs and flows it's kind of the regular thing that kind of happens around this time of year so i'm not stressing it out uh, but obviously you know always being vigilant making sure that uh the numbers kind of all match let's let's go say hi to to Mary Kate and Bullet here. We got newest members of our family, so check it out. There's Mama Mary Kate. Hey, Mary Kate, Ooh, she... why are you backing up? Are you scared of the GoPro? Are you scared of the camera? And that's your little boy, uh, Bullet. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Obviously, some chickens back there. We got some loose ones. This one right there that's walking around. Right behind uh, Mary Kate was being attacked, so we uh, split them up and let her kind of do her thing. And we've got uh, Shocker over there laying down. Yeah. What you got? Come here. Come here, Mary Kate. Say hi. Come here. Come here. You don't want to say hi this morning, huh? Okay. All right. Well, enough of that. Let's go. We got work to do. We've got some meetings today. I've got a couple dumpsters to do. Let's see what we got for some last minute kind of stuff. And uh, anyways, I'm taking you all with me. So let's go. Taking, ooh, we're gonna be taking the big truck. We need to grab a 30, but someone will be taking that bottom one. I still have them stacked up. I haven't, oh shit, oh, hope I didn't like that thing. Uh, still have them stacked up, and then the middle one has a door that I've got to put on. So we'll hook this one up, pull her out, hopefully leave those two stacks so we don't take up too much space. We uh, got kicked out, not kicked out, but moved over to a, an area in the yard that I'm eh, not quite fond of. Kind of crammed in the corner. So yeah. Hopefully we'll make a change on that pretty soon. Okay, let's go ahead and warm her up. Oh, let's hit the door.
lot of you guys, my question, uh, those of you guys that have followed me for a long time, how am I driving this truck? Well, I am glad, glad to finally announce that I have got my CDL. I went to a school out of Grand Prairie and uh, it was a little bit far and I tell you what, it's a lot more difficult than my understanding is what it used to be. Um, it's been a long process and I have finally got my CD. I went for a class B. I didn't need the class A. I didn't feel like paying extra for the class A. I didn't feel like taking the extra tests, the free trips and all that stuff for the class A. So just did the class B. Have to familiarize myself with the pre, or obviously all the CDL laws, rules, got to uh you got to go get a uh computer test at the dmv first you got to get your oh uh, first you have to get your medical card so you go to the doctor and they determine whether you're physically fit enough to uh you know drive for uh with a cdl eye test p test uh physical test you name it and then blood pressure, all that stuff. And then I signed up for the school. I did three days of classroom instruction, learning the book, learning all that stuff. Once you do the classroom, you can schedule for your uh, DMV written test, which is on a computer, but uh, so you take the computer test and uh, oh man, how many were there? I believe there's three different ones. There were three different tests that I had to take. Uh, I failed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I gotta close the door. Dang on it. That's why you always get out and check. Brand new dumpster. mistakes the problem is we don't all document them so here we go all right moving on three tests at the DMV I believe I failed one of them questions were kind of worded differently than I thought they'd be I guess I don't know uh, finally passed that got my CDL permit which allows you to drive with a CDL another person who's got a CDL and uh, then you go back to the school and you start working on your pre-trip which was a lot so they tell you different cards, card A, card B, 
that's all I needed to do because I didn't need uh, the trailer part of portion of it since I'm not doing a class A so card A is your front of your vehicle and everything under the hood card B is the side of your vehicle uh, your rear of your cab your catwalk and then your rear suspension and all that stuff so that's car B then you got to do your in cab pre-trip which goes over all the gauges AC heat the frost your emergency triangles all your safety equipment your fire extinguisher stuff like that then you got to do your <laughs> It's a long process. Then you have to do your uh, air brake test. After your air brake test, uh, I had to do three hours of simulation at the school. They have a simulator there, which was nothing but like a little video game. Uh, super slow motion video game, but with, you know, you're driving truck, so extremely boring. But three hours there, and then you start driving, you do your maneuvers. Good thing is that once you do all that, the school will schedule you, well, they did for me, at least they scheduled me in to get my CDL test. Uh, then you do your maneuvers, which is basically backing up, offsetting rear, backing up, and then parallel parking. What else was there? Then I had to do a pre-trip refresher course hour there then I had to do what else oh the mock test which you mock you do a mock test with the school they run you through the entire test and then you go to the DMV and you take your test so long process uh, it's a pain in the ass if you have you know time to do it straight without you know skipping days you can probably get it done in three to four weeks maybe if you did it five days a week depends on how quick of a learner you are I guess but uh, if you're like me and you kind of only went like once a week or sometimes twice a week at the most then you do draw the process out quite a bit especially with as much or as many steps as the school has you uh, do right all the different steps Nowhere in the school did they uh, go over leaving your yard with a rear door of a dumpster open, but I'm sure that should have been part of it or was part of it. I just wasn't paying attention. All right, we're coming up on it now. So I just found out a little bit ago that uh, we're actually delivering a dumpster here at the Addison Airport. It's kind of cool. I got to call the customer here when I pull up so they can send me a pin exactly as to where they want me to place the dumpster at. Hey, good morning. Is this Luke? Hey, Luke, this is Josh with American AF Dumpsters. I've got a dumpster for you here at the Addison Airport. for their operations manager to come on by and get me.
right, so I am back at the yard. Got so many damn cans here at the yard, it's not even funny. I've got this one's empty, full, empty. But I need that, I need that far back one, 2503. So we're about to hop in here, move some cans around. This is supposed to be the 15, the 20, 25, and then 30 lanes, but somehow that 25 got buried back there, and that's the one I want. So we're about to uh yeah we're gonna move some cans around in the mac and then we're gonna take that 25 and do a swap out and i've got one more 30 that called last minute swap out and we're gonna do that one yep check engine fault guys gotta love the mac all right, I am interrupting this video right now to remind you guys about the Lone Star Dumpster Showcase. It's gonna be held on November 11th. We have some awesome vendors, just to name a few. Obviously, it is hosted and presented to you by Keystone Waste Solutions at Keystone Waste Solutions uh, home location here in Rome, Texas. Then on top of that, we're gonna have vendors such as Custom One Trucks, hopefully bringing out a couple trucks. We've got Trison tarps out of DFW. They're uh, right here in DFW, Texas. They're going to be bringing out some tarps and kind of setting up shop. We're going to have uh, DRS. It's going to come out and set up a tent. Talk to you guys about software. We're going to have a Q&A panel. We've got YouTubers like John Cook with Same Day Dumpsters. We've got Clayton Roll from Rolling Ops. We got Joe Maxi from Maxco Dumpsters. We got Brock, the Triple Axer Slanger out of Florida. We've got Daniel, the Dumpster Helper. Uh, who else do we got coming? Uh, some guys out of Florida. We got Darko coming. Um, definitely lots of people out there, guys, that are coming out here to support the dumpster rental industry. Um, and a lot of companies have already signed up. We've got over 160 to 175 so far registered attendees. Other vendors, I think we've got Cougar trailers or cougars uh manufacturer that's going to be bringing out a couple trailers we we're in talks with a couple other guys if you are a vendor and you want to come out feel free to reach out to me josh at americanafdumpsters.com uh, and let me know that you're a vendor and you want to come on out uh big shout out or call out to a lot of the other manufacturing companies uh, i think usa tarp is going to be out there they're confirmed to come we've got john lister with lister uh doing uh He's bringing, well, unfortunately, he can't come. John Lister can't make it, but he's giving me uh, a dumpster mailbox. You guys can check out the mailbox. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I saw him over at the Tampa Bay Runners uh, dumpster event, and I, I added him in the video. So if you want to see that, uh, otherwise, you'll see it at the event. We've got Pat Waters, country singer. He's going to be singing stage we've got again all kinds of vendors if i miss you guys vendors i'm sorry i'm gonna come out with a video more detailed video later on uh, of all the vendor vendors about a week before the event but if you guys aren't going to be able to make it i'm telling you you're missing out if you can make it i'm calling out again i'm calling all dumpster rental companies whether you're here in texas or anywhere else in the country if you're flying in great if you're here in texas bring your rigs we want to show you stuff off bring your rigs bring your trailers bring your roll off trucks whatever you got Bring it. If you're a junk removal guy, bring a junk removal truck. It doesn't matter. We want to have a good time. We want to have the biggest event of its kind right here in DFW, right here in Texas. So uh, come on out to Rome, Texas, November 11th from noon to 5. We'll see you guys there. Usually my 15s are out all the time. I hardly ever have any 15s available. And now I got three. It's crazy because... There are least expensive dumpsters, and uh, they're almost never here.
there against the dock. So it's never, the door is never open. I never have to check the door because it's right up against the dock. Never even moved. Side one, or the one of the ones behind the two that are stacked. So we gotta figure that out. So you know you've gone far enough you just a little love tap good to go here yeah I'm gonna need the inside one dang I gotta move some stuff around I'm in a little bit of a hurry here Next to it, hook it and go.
again this one parks right up against the dock absolutely no need to uh, I look at the door but I don't go out and physically check it I'll go get a haircut people on my way to get a haircut no time to go back to the yard and get the truck
over 51,000 miles in this truck, so, and uh, right at a year, which isn't too bad. So I'll be doing a one year review on this truck coming up real soon. company put the glue on the dumpsters so but they use me every single day so I reuse their dumpsters I'll take the rest out of the yard dumpsters weigh nothing this one weighed what 0.26 tons guys I am done for the day that's gonna do it uh, two days worth of following me around running some dumpsters it is now Saturday uh, just about one o'clock in the afternoon and I am done for the weekend and I'm heading home got some work to do at home make sure you guys like subscribe smash the notification bell and once again don't forget about the Lone Star dumpster showcase on November 11th hopefully we'll see you guys out there until next time like subscribe Smash that notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next one.